Good morning. Today I'm going to check this uh, Enfield uh, half wave antenna's performance, and I have this antenna. And uh, let's take a look at this antenna. This is a very expensive antenna called a uh, high end fat, and it's a 40, 20, 10 meter band. And uh, this is just a glass pole uh, extending to. Uh, 33 feet so this antenna is uh, 11 point like I remember it's 11.8 meter or close to 33 feet uh, it matches quite well to this uh, pole uh, let's take a look at the, the SWR uh, this is a short cable it's about three feet and if you look at the frequency uh, it's at about uh, 7.08 and it's a very narrow at the 40 meter band um, let's look at other bands at the 20 meter band is about two uh, sometimes I saw it is at uh, 1.5 uh, SWR again uh, the coax cable is by three feet at the 10 meter band uh, it's about uh, 1.45 SWR and uh, so it does work at uh, 40, 20, uh, 10 meter band and one thing I keep talking is about this coax it's 3 feet long ideally uh, it should be part of the uh, antenna so it should be 2 meter or 6 feet long let me change to 6 meter uh, 6 feet Let's look at the reading from this machine. I trust this machine. Uh, so it's at 3.7.07 uh, uh, is 1.1. Very good. See, the dip is at 1.1 uh, at, 1 .1, at uh, 7.06, then go up. At 2.0 is 7.17. Uh, then it goes to 3. Okay, let's go to 40 meter band, a uh, 20 meter band, 20 meter band. Let's take a look. It's about 1.5. Uh, yeah, the band is quite wide, 1.5. So and the uh, 10 meter band. Uh, 1.2 1.3 pretty good yeah this machine is pretty good reading uh, and uh, again the coax is uh, three feet according to one theory uh, this coax is part of the uh, antenna so what I did is uh, I put this uh, six feet long uh, coax and I use this uh, to stop the um, this uh, common current so let's see if it improves at uh, 7 point at a 40 meter band uh, it is at uh, 1.6 in the same 7.08 range it's worse than earlier, <laughs> worse than the short cable. Short cable, I remember, is 1.1. Uh, let's look at the uh, 20 meter band. Uh, 1.6, same as earlier. It's a wide band at the 20 meter band. It's 1.6, earlier is 1.5, but the same. And uh, at the 10 meter band, uh, same as the 20 meter band, 1.5, 1.6. So it looks like like this long cable. Uh, put a, some choke there. Uh, does not help much. Same as the short cable. Let's look at the SWR reading from this radio. 
uh, I remember it's 1.5 from that machine, uh, bench analyzer, uh, uh, antenna analyzer. <laughs> it shows uh, almost nothing when 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 there. And uh, let's look at the the other bands. 40 meter band. Uh, okay. Let's take a look. There's nobody. Yeah, it's also there's nothing here. So this SWI is not accurate as the antenna analyzer. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do 10 meter band. This is the second antenna. Uh, same. Uh, uh, the and fed uh, half wave antenna, but uh, this is uh, made by a different company called the PAR EF 10 20 40. Let's take a look. I did not cut out uh, any Y yet, so let's take a look at the what's the default value. So it's uh, this is a 48 meter band. It's about 6.6 uh, .6 megahertz. So it's off. I need to do something. At a 40 meter band, it's pretty high. Let's look at the 20 meter band. It's about 1.2, 1. It's a little bit lower at 40 meter band, but it's okay. Um, let's sweep it. It's a lower one, 13.8, and the uh, impedance is 50. Then it goes up at a four uh, at twenty meter band is one point five. Not bad. So it's it's okay at the forty meter band, a uh, twenty meter band, but uh, it's uh, uh, much lower at uh, forty meter band. Uh, let's look at ten. Ten should follow at uh, at uh, twenty meter band. So should be quite low yeah ten is a uh, I don't know, it's around 27 megahertz. Uh, earlier, I set this antenna at 33 feet tall. Uh, normally, in the field, I really cannot throw this wire that high on the tree. So I lower to 20 feet, and that's probably the maximum height I can throw this wire up. So this is more practical. So at 20, meet, uh, 20 feet tall, let's see the SWR. Of this antenna. Mm. SWR at one point uh, four and six point six. And the impedance a little bit higher, and so the frequency has not changed. That's at the 40 meter band, uh, the 20 meter band, 20 meter band, and 1. Uh, 1 1.4 at 13.75. So earlier is 13.8. So looks like lower the uh, antenna height. 
the not impact is the frequency. Um, so now next step is I need to cut the wire according to the instruction to make it resonate at the handband. Now I use this uh, quite long coax here. And this is about 10 feet long coax. And it only is 3 feet. And then take a look. A 20 meter band. It looks okay. Uh, it's resonate on the point, 14 point. 14.2 so I don't need to cut on the 14 uh, on the 20 meter band yeah but uh, on the 40 meter band it's still kind of low at 6.6 .6. so I need to cut the wire at the f uh, for the 40 meter band. That's a, a problem. I mean, if the frequency depends on the length of the coax, then uh, I should be careful about how long I should cut because if I cut too much, it's hard to put the uh, wire back. So I rather to cut less. So in this case, I just use a longer cable and uh, the 20 meter band, uh, 20 meter band it should be okay. Uh, this uh, antenna is composed of two wires. The lower wire is for the uh, 20 meter band and there's uh, uh, some kind of like a uh, connector. Then um, there's another top wire. And the top wire is for uh, 40 meter band. And uh, I cut short about 18 inches. Now let's take a look. So at the 20 meter band, it's the same as earlier, um, 1.8 across the board. But uh, on the 40 meter band, after 18 uh, inch cut, uh, earlier is 6.6 .6, uh, megahertz. Uh, now after 18, it's about uh, mm, the 7.1, 7 7.1, 7.2 uh, range. So this is uh, at 40 meter band. But uh, I suspect that uh, when I throw onto the tree, the 18 inch, uh, actually the wire is not straight. So the wire is uh, not straight. So this 18 inch probably uh, probably is compensated uh, because the wire is not straight when I throw into the uh, tree. Right now uh, I'm using a pole, so the wire is straight. Uh, so probably I need to put this 18 inch back uh, in the field if I throw the wire into onto the tree instead of instead of using the pole. But anyway, uh, I understand it's about 18 inch uh, 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 long I need to shorten at the top of this wire uh, this is the power EF antenna so this is the antenna and this is basically uh, for the um, 20 meter band and it's 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 quite quite okay it's resonate at 14.08 and this is the part I'm talking about. This is the 40 meter band, and it's resonate at the full length. The full length is 6.6 .6 megahertz. So if I cut like 18 inch from the top, then it's about right at 7.1 megahertz. Uh, but uh, but uh, I guess the reason they make it longer by 18 inch is because this part is around the tree and uh, uh, the wire is not straight and uh, the wire is like dangling inside the tree branch 
it probably around uh, I would say 18 inch uh, uh, slack uh, of the wire is reasonable so so again for the straight line it's uh, 18 inch longer than uh, necessary but uh, if I throw it under the tree it's about right I would say so I should not cut this one so this antenna is pretty good uh, I like it uh, small and uh, can carry as QRP and can surround the tree.